Hi, I'm Bart Hansen, the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. For the best in poker strategy, subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a hand for you against a uh, against a ABC kind of tight nitty pro. Okay. Um, so I have a really good image. Um, you know, I have the whole table covered. I have two tight pros on my left. This is five five then, at Hustler. Uh, five five at Hustler. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Two two tight pros on my left, and then there's four kind of uh, actually uh, yeah four recreational players at the table, so we're playing uh, seven handed. Okay. Um, I'm under the gun. I have king queen of clubs. I open to twenty five. And you're one k effective or what? Um, actually, with the villain in this hand, I am about sixteen hundred effective. Okay. Um, so I opened to 25, and uh, the cutoff calls, the button calls, who is the villain in the hand, and both blinds call as well. Okay. Uh, the flop comes 10, 4, deuce, and the 4 and the deuce are both clubs. 10, 4, deuce, two clubs, and this is five ways, right? Or is it four ways? Five ways. Five yeah. ways. Five yeah. ways. 10 4 deuce, two clubs. Do you remember which card was not a club? The 10 was not a club. Okay. So, this is a pretty good board here with your equity. You've got the king high flush draw, and you've got backdoor straight draws, and you can barrel a lot of over cards. And, you know, the board doesn't really fare to hit anyone really strong unless they flop a set, which you'll hear from. So, a lot of times, guys are really going to have, going to be 10 heavy here, right? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, I. I bet pretty big. I bet, wow, that's a lot of noise. I just made um, it for you. Okay. I bet 85. Okay. Um, cut off folds the um, tight villain. Uh, she is a, uh, a pro, but, I mean, super ABC, not creative at all. You know, kind of, you know what she has at all points. Mm -hmm. um, she makes it 295 on the button, and it folds back around to me. She's a tight pro? Yeah. On the button. Right? Yes. All right. So she makes it 295 and it's folded back around you, so it's 205 more. I mean, I think this is pretty standard call and then just play it straight up to try to hit your hand. And, you know, occasionally you're going to run in. You're going to have some. Your head's up now. So obviously there are going to be some cards that are going to give you backdoor equity here, too, right? You know, you can catch an ace, a nine, or a jack. Are going to give you that? Those are the cards that are going to give you a straight draw, right? And and okay, yeah. So I... and those are also the cards that are going to be a little bit deceptive in the sense that unless she bets pot, it's actually a really good situation if she has a set here because unless she makes like a pot size bet on the turn, she's going to be pretty committed to the hand, and I'm going to find it difficult for her to fold if clubs come, and then you've got your hidden straight out there too. So you know, I would just call. I mean the Time, you know, there there are some reverse implied odds occasionally if she's got the nut flush draw, but you know, in order for her to have a combo draw with a nut flush draw here, she would really have to have like ace five or ace three of clubs, and a lot of players at this level don't raise those hands, right? I don't even know if she's raising ace ten of clubs. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think she would flat ace ten of clubs. Right, right. Here. Um, so you know, I'm really only worried about ace three and ace five of clubs. Right, right, and that's only two combinations, and you've got. You know, you've got nine combos of, of sets, so I, I think that that tends to be um, way more of her range. You're mostly looking at sets here. She could have a hand like, I guess, five, three of clubs, too. But, um, and occasionally people go nuts with 10x of clubs, but I don't think that's the case in this, in this situation. So you call. I call, mm -hmm. and uh, the turn is the three of clubs. So the turn is the three of clubs. Now, the pot is 600... What about seven and change, seven forty, something like that? Yeah, right yeah. around there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So my question is, uh, she's going to check this back a hundred percent of the time mm -hmm. with a set. Mm -hmm. um, but what I what I did do and what I think I should do are different here. Mm -hmm. um, I think if. I check, this is going to go check, check, and if the river is a blank, she's 100% value betting if I check to her, and I think a check raise ship on the river, if I can avoid the board pairing or another club, I think I stack her. 
But on the other hand, uh, you know, that's kind of taking a much more high variance line. So do you like just coming out here and leading? Well, if the pot's 740 and you go check, check, on a, and then the river rolls off, so you've got to avoid 10 cards here for the board to pair and then another 7 for a club. So you're looking at one-third of the deck. Also, too, you've got some one-liners here, right, that will come in like a 5. So I count that as an extra 3 that might just shut the action down. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she's betting a set here if an offsuit 3 comes. Um, so that's like 20 cards. That's pretty much almost half the deck. Now you're also gambling on the fact that if she, you know, you check, she's going to bet on a blank, which I think, you know, that's fine. Let's say she bets 400. Now, when you call the 400, the pot would be 1150 and you've got, or excuse me, the pot would be 1550 and you've got maybe 700 left. So you would check ship 700 and you're saying that you think that she would always call if it goes check, check, check ship, you mean? I, yeah, I, because I think she expects me to lead all of my made flushes here. I mean, I understand your thinking, but I think that when you run through the math of how many action card killers there are, if you just come out and bet the same amount that she would bet on the river, and then you bet again on the, on a river that doesn't pair the board, I think you're actually going to get more value in that way. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, that that makes sense. I guess just the results didn't match up. I I came out and led for four fifty, and she yeah. tanked and folded. Wow, that's really interesting. So Hero leads for four fifty, and then she folds. What did she fold? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hmm. That is very very strange. Um, obviously, you know, we can't always say that something is always happening, but, you know, going with our read of what she usually has, I actually don't mind your play. And I just think it's a little bit of fancy play syndrome to do that. Um, just because of all of the, you know, all of the action killers and who knows, maybe she, if she's got a set of deuces here and like the river is like a king or a queen, she should be betting, but we've seen people check behind because they're scared of, Sets a 10, sets a queen, sets a kings, and if you're somehow trickily playing a flush, you know what I mean? It would be a disaster if that were to happen. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I don't feel as bad about it. I was just super disappointed when she folded because I thought she for sure had a set. Yeah. All right, Squish, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, if you like what you've seen here, please click on the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And if you want to check out CrushLivePoker.com for the first month free, use the code YTA100. Click on the link right there.